Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Evil Inn. Chapter 8 we're on. Yeah. So, I guess we're down in some hole or something like that. That's cool. We're in a cave. Does it even show us where we came from? No. How do we get in this cave even? I'm confused, guys. I guess we'll never know. There's more of those things there. It's kind of scary. What do we got going on? Anything interesting going on over here? No? Okay. Yo. Two headed things. Oh shit. Oh crap. What is that? What? What if they had an extra arm? I don't have ammo for anything. Dang. It's not good. Let's see what I have for bolts. Can I make bolts? Make two harpoons. Let's go ahead and do that. Two harpoons. It's not gonna do shit, but maybe I'll be able to kill one with it at least. Yeah. Why didn't this guy drop anything? Is that cool? I don't have any ammo. Ooh, sniper bullet. Yo, bro, back off. So from what I hear, this is actually a pretty short chapter. So I'm looking forward to that. I think I died. Maybe I'll be able to come through and finish it all in one episode, even. If I'm lucky that I don't die. Anything I need? Nothing in the barrels. Ah, oh, great. Got three shots. Oh, where'd you come from, bro? Dang. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That did not do anything at all. Well, then I'm gonna run. I'm out of here. See you, sucker. Oh, hi, there's more of them. We can get the guy that syringe. Oh, there's shotgun ammo. Reload. Ah. Get off me. Okay, now reload. Get that double kill? I think I did. Didn't drop anything though. Hmm. Surprised I lived though. Kind of happy about that. Okay, I got one syringe. I do have a grenade if I need to use that. I guess I just keep forgetting about that part. But, yeah. Keep on going. Oh, I'm going. Can we open this any faster? No? Please? And there we go. Alright. No ammo, no ammo, no ammo. There is a dead body. Whoa. What's going on? This is a creepy cave, I have to admit. What? Dude. Dude, harpoons everywhere. Looks like they're just timed, though. So that's good. 
can we get? Trap fight. Ow. Nothing. That was the point of that box. Oh my goodness. Hey, at least the checkpoint was right here. Uh, I had figured that it had already passed by, that's why I sprinted for it. Dang. Don't hit me this time. Ooh, can I pick up this? Ooh, it's a frost one. Guess I don't get the ammo back. Wow, that's not cool. I'm just gonna keep it safe. But I'm really upset now that I don't get that ammo back. Now I have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ooh, creepy. Which my way through here. That would creep me out. Yo, yo, nothing grab me, please. Don't squish me or anything. Hey, checkpoint. Cool. And I have... What for ammo? One frost bolt? That's all I have for ammo. Unless there's some goodies over here. Yo. Got anything for me? Brainwave patterns observed in subjects number 25 and 33, and now again in 55. The one common factor is a case history of disassociative identity disorder. Previous experiments on the prefrontal cortex led to degradation of sense of self, but there were unanticipated results here. Suicidal thoughts of alternate personalities exhibited as attacks on the core personality. As self-consciousness waned, a sort of stasis was achieved. Like two creatures sewn together and forced to live as one, eternally hating the other. Delicious. Well, that was definitely creepy. But they... They don't got any ammo for... Ooh. Ooh. Six bullets. What? Is that what is going on? Oh, huh, <laughs> huh. They exploded because I walked on them. What? All right, take it, I guess. Oh, gosh, there's more of them. Best enemy ever. is mildly entertaining. What the heck are those things? Hey, there's one more. I'm trying to get away. Oh, he got away. Dang. Anyways, huh. After that distraction. You hear him. Whoa. What are you doing? You can actually hurt me? That's not cool. Is there more? I hear them, I think. Yeah, he's over there. 
He's stuck over there. How much damage does that one do? Very little. Alright, that's cool. Ew. Not a big fan of wading through this water though. At least I can see the bottom. Hey. Bullets. Goop. Nice. Walking slowly. I can't run. Can't do anything. There's more of them things over here. Dude, those things are starting to creep me out now. I'm just gonna run on by. Nope, oh, you heard me. Reload. Why am I not reloaded? Did he just hop like a frog? Gosh. Oh gosh. There's so many of them. Oh, there's so many of them. And then this guy. I'm just gonna run. Screw that. Not dealing with that. Let's go this way. Squeeze on through. Getting really sick of those little things now. Ooh, checkpoint. Kind of sketched out. Let's see what we got going on here. Hello, hello. Got a syringe. Need that. Got an explosive bolt. Let's use up the syringe. Ah, I gotta shoot up. I gotta shoot up. Do I hear more? No. Just hearing things now. Let's see, we got two sniper shots. Nothing in that barrel. Mm. Nothing in that barrel. Uh, at least we got sniper shots now. Yay! And, ooh, what's this? I went into deep. I went into deep and of course it was a trap. Sophia told me to stop so many times, but was only a little farther to the truth. I knew there'd be a challenge, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack into this door. The door had to lead outside. The plate I found looks like it fits in the slots. It's probably the key. But which way does it go? 50-50 odds. And I've been here pacing for what feels like an eternity, unable to make this simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you're right, and I'll never let you go. Okay, thank you for that. Well, this is a gruesome trap. I'm kind of sketched out by it. Um, whoa. What up, dude? Looks like he chose wrong. So, bloody relief plate. Faces carved on either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. So we have a 50-50. But it would make sense that the one with the blood streaked across it would be the wrong one, right? Because people get killed if they put the wrong one in, therefore blood? I hope I'm right. Uh, oh. Logic wins over everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was. It's pretty sketch, though. It's definitely sketchy. Ooh, shotgun shells. Haven't seen you in a while. Ooh, 
Whoa. What is going on up here? Yo. Okay. Whoa, we're back in the uh, asylum. It's been a while. Like the first chapter. Hey, what's going on in here? Anything interesting going on in here? Nothing? Okay. Doc. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Ruvik guy? Who the hell is he? I'm sorry, I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. He... We... We're working on a method. How can I explain this? It's... Like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. Emotion, memory, perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Especially not with such a... Unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. N not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. Sorry for the weird transition. I thought I was going to end it there. <laughs> Figured that cutscene would end the uh, chapter, but it didn't. We got it in the journal. Uh -huh. that thing. Yeah, better back off. Oh. 